Ballard's gym in the lead up to his world title fight with Felix Derm. Matthew, how are you? How are you feeling? But uh, just uh, just under two weeks really to go. Right now, really, really confident. Um, I you know, barely had a bad day in the last eight weeks. You know what I mean? Really, really flying, just going from strength to strength, and uh, just kind of more or less, more or less there now. Really, just maybe one or two more big sessions, and then we start bringing down the training. Obviously, still staying sharp and everything, but I won't be doing nothing in terms of the, the, the physical, the big, big sessions. They're all really done now, so. Uh, just can't wait. But just as you receive what is coming to you, everybody else is gonna get this too. I ain't gonna say it. Well, you know, therefore, I can't dispute that everyone wants me to know the truth. Actions and reactions. So you've gone through a 10 round spar today, five rounds with Paul Smith and five rounds with Sebastian Demers. Um, what's the thinking between? Behind having both of those fighters in the ring with you in the league. I mean, it's good. You know, we're doing ten rounds there. There's only thirty seconds rest in between. They both be super. I'm probably giving a stone away to, to both. So physically, it's tough going. And uh, you know what I mean. It's uh, and I, I mean on Thursday I've done ten rounds and, and uh, it was three with Callum Johnson who's light heavyweight, three with Paul Smith, four with uh, um, four with Sebastian Demers. So it's like you know they're getting in fresh and I'm doing the ten rounds, but that's keeping the intensity because you know I've done eight rounds with. Sebastian over a week ago and like he couldn't stay with me and like you know we're trying to I'm going really far on all cylinders you, it's, it's taking three people to stay with me so uh, you know that, that shows the, the level and the intensity that, I, that I'm performing at the minute so uh, you know I believe that on the night I don't think Felix Stone will be able to stay with me Sebastian, he's obviously a, a quite a tall, he's a big middleweight, small, super middleweight. Is, is he the one that's really been brought in to replicate the style he's of Sturm? Foot, which is around what Sturm is, he's, uh, you know, he's, he's orthodox in style. Yeah. Uh, you know, he pumps the jab out, you know, he has the same kind of defence, uh, textbook defence. So, yeah, similar enough, you know what I mean? But like... Uh, I think on his own doing the ten rounds, he, he wasn't, you know, he, he wasn't, he wasn't able to stay with it. Yeah. Having Callum Johnson and Paul Smith freshens it up a little. Three and three and four, it's just, you know, it keeps it. Yeah, he just freshens yeah. it up. It keeps them fresh. And it, I'd rather get four rounds of quality out of each lad. Rather four rounds with each one, get twelve rounds of quality, then you know, you're beating someone up for six rounds and then they're just they're holding on. <laughs> The last time we spoke to you, just you, you were just about to go over to the press conference over in Germany. Uh, what, what was the reception like really over there? Were, everyone was very friendly, and uh, they were, um, you know, they, they they see it as a big fight. They see it as a, uh, a, big, a big step up from the last couple of opponents he had, Lorenzo and um, Ronald Hearns. They they see, you know, in their boxing news, the Germans is on rank number five in the world. Um, you know, twice European champion. So the the the, the I'm very. Uh, they're very familiar with who I am. They know that I'm a night like they consider me as a proper top five, genuine bona fide, you know, top five contender. Yeah. You see, this is a real title defence for him, and um, you know they were they were surprised that we're speaking a bit of a lingo. Yeah. How did but, that go across? Yeah, it was good, and the more I was doing it, the more it was coming back to me. So it was that was kind of funny too. But uh, yeah. no, it went down well. They were they were they they, they you know they were impressed by it, and I, I think they liked the fact that. They make them in. How is your German? Like what sort of? Yeah, I'm not bad. Look, I've done high level German. So I just say high level, and I've, you know, I've, uh, I've, I've been, I've been trying to like revise a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And see if I can do a bit, bit better in uh, the press conference the week before. So. Uh, so what is your, what is the message to the German fans out there? Uh, ich werde gewinnen. <laughs> <laughs> What's that mean? I will win. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing uh, Felix Thurm up close, what was your uh, what was your your, your last impression of this? He looked like a big guy. I'd say he's big at the weight. Um, he looked like he possibly would struggle. Maybe he won't struggle, but it, I mean he's going to be big big at the weight. I mean I'm big at the weight. I have to work hard to make a 160 pounds. So I can only imagine he will too. And the talk they were saying he was at the time, a uh, he, he was down at 
he was 85 kilo starting camp, so he'd last six kilo quickly. So he was still like, so had six kilo to go, which is like best part of a stone. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I'd say he's big at the weight, you know, he, he's, he's a big guy, so I'd say he's tight enough at it, but uh, whether or not he, he, he just hits it fine or not, they're very, they seem very up with the times, very sort of modern with their techniques. Yeah. So I'd say he knows what he's doing, he's been champion a long time, but uh, I mean, he's never really fought an electrifying pace. You know, maybe that's one of the reasons, or maybe that's just the way he goes about his business. But um, either way, I don't think the I think what the intensity that I'll be bringing to to the fight, I think he'll have tr tr uh, trouble dealing with it. Yeah. <laughs> up on some some of your stern fights yeah i've watched loads now i've seen him against us what watch both randy griffin fights both javier castillo fights um i watched him against uh, sebastian sylvester oscar de la hoya um yeah well i haven't seen his last couple but i've seen him you know he's supposedly at his best yeah um, and also seen the fights where he lost and the one where he drew which really he probably lost yeah so um, yes, yeah, so we've seen, seen a good blend of him, really. You know what I mean. So, uh, you know, I'm definitely, I don't think there's going to be any surprises. Like he's never, you know, you always got to be ready for someone to come out blazing at you the first round. But that's some, that's what an erratic fight would do, and that's probably the the last word you'd use to describe Felix. Stern. Yeah. He's very clinical and he's textbook and he's he's a perfectionist. You know, he's always looking for the perfect punch. You'll never see him just let his hands go. Yeah. He's always looking for the one two or the left hook right hand you know two punch combination he never just blazes away so you know i think he'd probably come out and be i think he looked to take the play away i think he'll probably come out and look to take the center of the ring but you know that i think that'll suit maybe Are there any weaknesses that, you, that you've seen from watching those videos that you think that you could, you could, you know, well, you everyone, could really play everyone, on? Everyone has weaknesses, and I just think that he, um, he's, he's hittable. Like he doesn't, he's not a, he's not a, a Mayweather, or he's not super elusive. He's not elusive. No, yeah. he's not an elusive fighter. He's got a great defense in terms of he's good at blocking. Do you know what I mean? But he's there. He stands in front of you, and he's he, he got the big, he's got big arms, yeah. big biceps, big forearms, big hands. So you know he likes to keep the hands high. And it's more of a winky right type defence, but he's you know he stands in range and he gets hit. So you know the thing is, the key is to opening that defence up. But, yeah. You know we've got to, I think I know how to do that. We're going over a, a week tomorrow. So yeah, week yeah. on Sunday, week before the fight, there's a press conference on the Monday. Yeah. It's a public workout on the Wednesday, and then there's the weigh-in on the Friday. All right. Okay. So everything's going fine. It's gonna be a new world champion. Great. All right. Listen, we'll see you over in Germany. Thanks. Cheers. Take it easy. <laughs> Thank you.